my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. There is actually uh, some few techniques that you can use that will make your blues scale sound absolutely crazy. Um, and that's a really nice addition to your playing. So if you're tired of running up and down that first position blues scale shape and not really, uh, then these videos are for you. And I want, by these, I mean this video and the following two. Um, they together, it's a little mini course in how to really spice up your blues scale and make it sound wacky and, out of control, basically. Insane sometimes. So, and in this first video, we're just gonna use the blue note in the blue scale, but we're going to use it in a different way. Um, and I should say before we go on that I'm Klaus Levine from guitarmastery.net. You can go download free jam tracks, free courses below this video, click the links, follow us on Instagram, all of these things. And of course, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next two videos. Okay. So what do we do? Well, we take that blue note and we use it in a different way. And just a quick story here. I used to wonder why there were multiple scales. And, and you know, adding just one note to a scale because the blues scale is basically just the minor pentatonic or the major pentatonic with one extra note to it. And not only that, it's just a chromatic note. You got like, that's the, the minor pentatonic, in this case, C minor pentatonic. And then to play a blues scale, I just add that one note in the ninth fret, right? And then it's a blues scale, but it sounds radically different, doesn't it? Right? Then, but, but, but so little changes make a huge difference. And you need to keep that in mind when you, um, when you practice these things, that if we're removing a note, adding a note, that's a huge difference, especially if we're skipping other notes or we're changing the blues scale just a little bit, and it will change the sounds you make, it'll change the inspiration you get from your own playing, and it will inspire you to play new things. So these are big things, even though they're simple, easy to do. Um, and that's what dawned on me, that it's actually relevant to learn the pentatonic scale and the major scale, even though the pentatonic scale fits within the major scale. And so you could say when you're playing the major scale, you're also playing the pentatonic, but you're also playing seven different arpeggios. So this matters, this little thing we're doing here. So let's look into how we can use the blue note in a different way in order to really achieve some major changes in the sound. So let's talk about the blue note, uh, which is really... Uh... <laughs> A very uh, important part of the blue scale, since it is the blue scale, we got the minor pentatonic here, we're in the key of C. So the C minor pentatonic, first position, that's what we're working with, and we got the all the notes in the eighth fret with your first finger. And then we got the eleventh on the two top strings. We got the tenth on the G, D, and A string, and then the eleventh on the low E string. And we got the blue note in the eleventh fret then on the uh, G string, and in the ninth fret on the A string. And that's what we're going to work with. Normally when you play, you use that blue note as a passing note. You bend up to it, but you don't end your lines on it. But if you start doing that, it sounds really interesting. Or using that, uh, excluding it from, from the others. And that's the first little uh, point here that when you play the blues scale, you can skip the note after it and you can skip the note before it because you got this little chromatic thing going on here, right? Right, and it seems like, okay, you're tying two, two notes together with, and that's a blues scale, okay then. But if you start separating it out, like going and taking not the, the note after it and skipping that in the scale and just playing the scale with, okay, you skip that next note and go straight to the D string. You know that? Note right there, you skip that. You get that you get that weird little thing going on here. Where you go 9, 10, 11 on the B string, and then you skip the next note on the B string. G string, sorry. In the B string A thread, and go straight for the 11th fret. 
have to put that bar and then go straight to the eighth fret on the high E string. It becomes a new scale actually. Let me just play it for you slowly. And you just play around with that for a little bit. You get that really wacky, cool sound uh, because you put a, much more of an emphasis on the blue note. You can also do the opposite. You can skip the note before the blue note and only play the one after. So instead of going to the eighth fret, uh, on the A string, you go straight to the blue note and play the one after. And then... And not play this one, right? The, this is the blue note on the G string. You don't play that one. So you play... So you go... You just get on the top strings here, you get the 8th fret on the 11th on both the E, the B, and the G string. Skip, skipping that again. Right. So this is how it sounds, or it looks. Again, really. Again, puts a, a little bit of different sound. Let's go back and forth between the two scales here. That's the first one, skipping that, and then the second. When you play solos, you can actually think about skipping one or skipping the other, and that'll change your playing because it puts a little limitation to what notes you use. Um, what you can also do, the last thing I'll just show you with the blue note here, is skipping both of these notes, and only on this string having the blue note. So you play two notes here on the bottom string, then you play the blue note only on that string, and then you have two notes on the on the D, and then you have uh, one note right here, because the, this is the same chromatic little... So this is the blue note, so you have that one, Right? This one and that one, but then you don't do this because that's the next chromatic step there. So you get. Right? Really cool. And actually, this is an arpeggio, right? We got the minor third, so it's a minor arpeggio. Then we got the flat fifth, so we got a minor flat five. Then we got the seventh, and then we got the root note again. So you got a minor, a half diminished, in other words. Sounds really cool. You can also take this, let me just play that. Uh, really wacky, really cool sounding. You can also take this little octave here, this little minor seventh fret five arpeggio, which is basically just the blue scale without the two notes surrounding uh, the blue note. You can take that up one octave, so you get this this shape right here. There's the first three strings, but then you can start on the octave in the tenth fret and do the same thing. So you go 10, 11 on the D, uh, 11, 10, 13 on the D, sorry. Then 11 on the uh, G string. And then, uh, what is it, 11 and 13 on the B. So you can go. And then up to this note here. So that's, a, that's an entire leg. That's the whole arpeggio. And then you can hit that note right there. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Also, a last little idea for you. You can go... Just a simple lick of playing up the arpeggio here, or blue scale, and then it's creating an ending. Ending on the blue note also. Right? <laughs> really? So I go, just go up the shape here. You can end on that one, or you can go, go all the way up to this shape. Right? And then even up here, and then slide up to the to the fourteenth fret, which is the blue note again. And then bend the eleventh fret I I E string, and back to the thirteenth fret root note uh, on the B string. And you, of course, want to blend and mix it, play the whole blues scale a little bit, go into this little um, note omitting, and then, you know, mix and, and use these ideas as concepts in your head um, to, to push you into playing something that you're not used to and getting those really, those really cool uh, things going on there. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.